Welcome to Tech Photo Blog. This is episode number three. This week I'm going to talk about setting up a laser trigger with the camera axe. Now to set up a laser trigger, you're going to need a camera axe and a light sensor like this to detect the laser beam. You can use a standard laser pointer or there's an accessory that points into that plugs into the camera axe and the advantage of this is that you can turn it off with the camera axe right before the photo is taken. You'll need either a flash cable like this to trigger the flash or um, a camera cable like this to trigger your camera. For more high speed photography you'll probably want to use the flash cable. But today we're going to use the uh, camera cable. Now I'll show how to set up the menu on the camera axe. While turning it on, I'm just holding down the activate button to set all of the menu settings back to default. Then I'll take the laser, I'm sorry, the light sensor, plug that into sensor port number one. I'll take the laser sensor, plug that into sensor port number two. And I'll take the camera cable plug that into camera flash port number one. Now we're going to be using the light sensor on sensor number one so we want to trigger device number one which is the camera with sensor number one. You can control the delay between when the laser is broken and when the picture is taken. I'm just going to leave it at zero. Now the bulb time in this case is basically how long between um, when the trigger when, when the laser is broken and when the camera axe will reactivate itself uh, so so how quickly you can take multiple pictures um, using the camera axe I'm gonna set that to 20 seconds just so multiple pictures don't get taken too quickly together uh, if you're using a flash, you'll want to leave the prefocus to know, but since I'm using a camera, I will change this to yes, and that will reduce the shutter lag. I talked about shutter lag in a previous episode. Uh, for trigger type, what I suggest doing is just uh, experimenting to figure out whether this should be high or low. So the second value here on the trigger value is the, the current value being read by the light sensor. So when the laser is pointed directly at it, the value goes to 999. And when the laser beam is broken, it goes down to, you know, generally below 100. So that means we want to trigger it when it goes low. Uh, a trigger value of, you know, 800 is good. Just something below um, the lowest value or the the lower value where it's triggered, and the higher value um, when the laser beam is is shining on the light sensor. So I'll just leave that at 800. Uh, now the laser is plugged into uh, sensor number two, and we want that to go off when sensor number one is triggered. So we'll set it like that. And that should be all of the menu settings you need to change in order to get the laser trigger to work. So here's the full setup. We have the camera connected to camera flash number one. We have the light sensor connected to sensor number one and the laser connected to sensor number two. So when I hit activate, it is now ready to take the picture as soon as the laser beam is broken. And there we go. And you can see that the, the laser light has turned off and the camera will take another picture when the bulb time on the camera axe has expired. So here's an example setup. I have the laser down here bouncing off a mirror on the wall there to the light sensor. Both of those are connected to the camera axe which triggers this camera. The camera is set to multi-shot and that basically means it'll take a series of shots as long as the shutter is pressed down 
and I have the camera axe set to a bulb setting of one second. So that means that the camera should take a series of shots as fast as it can for approximately one second after it's been triggered. And the reason I set it up here is because my cat will oftentimes come through uh, the railing here and jump down to the uh, sofa below. And I'd like to get a shot of her in midair as she's jumping down. Here's my cat Ramona. I'm going to coax her off the stairs now to show you how this will work. Where do you go, Ramona? There are all sorts of shots you can set up using a laser trigger, from various security shots to nature shots like a deer or flying bats. This type of trigger can also be used for various high-speed photography shots like water droplets or even photographing bullets. The options are nearly endless. Thanks for watching.